Are there health considerations relating to the living, to living in structures of steel, either steel frames or all steel cladding? Is that a Faraday effect? You're in a Faraday cage, you're unlikely to suffer from lightning strikes. They can't get you with, with radiation. I, th I, think, I think really you're pretty safe inside steel cages. Some companies are illegally uh, mixing radioactive waste in with metal, so it's the kind of thing you might want to check. They'll, uh, they'll do anything. It's like you see trucks in America, uh, uh, old mixer trucks, and uh, they have uh, flowers on the truck. And uh, they play uh, an old shaker song. You know that song? It is a joy to be simple. It is a joy to be free. You know that song? Ignorant bastards. <laughs> it is a joy to come down where you ought to be. And when you come down to the place just right, you will be in the valley of love and delight. And these trucks belong to the mafia. So they're, they're playing this little tinkly tune, they've got flowers all over it, and they're carrying high level radioactive waste away for the government from the nuclear reactors. Uh, up in Maine, Massachusetts area, and they're just letting it go on the turnpike all the way down to Boston. Little stop cock here, and a tap, and they turn that on and come home every night. So you find those highways are really hot. Burp, 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 all the way, you know. So, yeah, so I'll mix, uh, Radioactive steel manufacture. Actually, they got rid of a lot of uh, oil out of those huge electrical things. Transformers, which is full of uh, PCBs, uh, by spraying it on, on race tracks to lay the dust. Same firm, the mafia. So the government uses them to get rid of stuff which it doesn't want to touch. So you don't go to the races. And if you do, don't inhale. <laughs> and don't drive down American highways. Um, and several other things. Often, often hidden in fuels radioactive waste. So it's Where is it? It's often hidden in fuels. There's a, a new research came out that there was radioactive car fumes throughout Europe and aeroplane fume it's hidden in the you know there's all different ways of finding to get rid of radioactive waste is such an expensive thing to deal with. And in fact it's a bloody good idea not to leave home really. So that was they were tried to be stopped. He and I got along well because I'm pretty savage. And uh, we were both savage over the same things that we needn't destroy the landscapes. Um, it was a few years ago, somebody said to me, What is it that drives you to go to all these awful places and help people? And that you must love everybody a lot. I said, No, it's hate that drives me. I had to think about it. It's, uh, I just hate what people are doing to the landscapes. And hate drives me. And hate's a lot better than love. Love's a sissy sort of thing. <laughs> and you can, you can piss on it and put it out. <laughs> but you can't put hate out. It's strong. And it'll take you past the point of no endurance, you know. You're still trying to stab somebody through the foot when they're mortally wounded, you know. 
hate is a better thing. And fury is great. Get that stuff and build it. If you're capable of fury, it'll carry you anywhere, really. Love, you know, that, all that junk stuff. Sweetness and love and little fairies and angels and all that shit, you know. <laughs> You're welcome to take this trip with me. Let's wake up a few people. Peace. Providing you with the knowledge to land yourself in an extremely uncomfortable conversation at a party with a very opinionated acquaintance.